Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the neighborhood of Coral Gables and I'm going to get started right now. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the neighborhood of Coral Gables. But first, before I get started, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another update. I do put out new videos every single week. Also, use the link in my information box and download our free relocation guide today. Okay, let's get started. I really like to show this shot because you can see in the far top middle part of this screen is downtown Miami and Brickell, and Coral Gables is located south southwest of downtown Miami and Brickell. This is really the hub of Coral Gables, downtown Coral Gables, and you can see there's condominiums in this area. And then from there, it spreads out into single family homes. And also there are luxury neighborhoods that go along the coastline. This is Miracle Mile, which is one of the most famous streets in Coral Gables. And there are a lot of restaurants and shopping and cafes along this street. And then there are also some other restaurants and cafes and shopping along the side streets as well. In some of the other parts of the city, I always tell you to search by zip code. But if you're truly looking for properties in Coral Gables, you really can just use the city name Coral Gables. And just to note, Coral Gables is a city inside of Miami-Dade County. Coral Gables is really known for its beautiful tree-lined streets and the lush landscaping and Coral Gables has a wide variety of price points for single family homes, starting at about around 450, all the way up into multi-million dollar properties. For instance, there's one on the market right now that is 49.9 million in Gables Estates. This is a chart that I put together for you just to show you what is sold over the last 180 days. And you can see on average, the average four bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square foot home sold for around 1.9 million. This part of Coral Gables is the more Eastern section of the city. And I'm about to take a right on a very popular road known as Old Cutler Road. And Old Cutler Road features some of the most luxurious homes in the city. For instance, two of the most popular luxury neighborhoods in this city are Coco Plum and Gables Estates. Coral Gables also has beautiful condominium properties as well. And they can start right around a couple hundred thousand dollars up into the several multi-million dollar price point. This is a list of properties I pulled for closed sales of condominiums and townhomes in Coral Gables over the last six months. And you can see that the average 2-2 with 1,300 square feet closed for on average of $509,000. And what would be a video about Coral Gables without showing you the beautiful Biltmore Hotel? This hotel is still open and in existence today, which is amazing. It's a beautiful piece of property. It was built by a famous developer named George Merrick and he is known as the founder of Coral Gables. And at one time it had one of the largest pools in the world. And there were beautiful fashion shows and water shows and beautiful events. They still host beautiful events there all throughout the year. You have to go there for brunch. It's a beautiful, beautiful brunch. Just some additional location information 
Coral Gables is about a 15 minute drive to downtown Miami. And there is a lot of activity in downtown Miami, like the American Airlines Arena, the Frost Science Museum, and the Performing Arts Center. Obviously, that's with no traffic. And since the properties in Coral Gables are more inland and not on the beach, obviously there are some waterfront properties there. But in terms of beach access, if you're still interested in going to the beach, you can be at a beach in Key Biscayne or Miami Beach in about 25 to 30 minutes. And you can be to Fort Lauderdale in about 45 minutes and Aventura in about half an hour from Coral Gables. And then also the airport is pretty close to Coral Gables. You can be there in about 70 minutes. Obviously you have to time everything according to the traffic and time of day, but it has a great proximity to a lot of the major places around the city. There is really a lot more to know about the Coral Gables neighborhood, but I think this is a good first video for Coral Gables and a few other details I would like to just finish up with and that is that the University of Miami is also located in Coral Gables and I think a lot of our buyers end up buying in this neighborhood because they really like the suburbia feel, the lush landscaping. You know, you're still close to the city but you're not in the middle of the city and there's still a lot of activity around this neighborhood. Okay, that's it. We will see you soon.